on to Goodison Park. It hasn't been a vintage season for Everton, but they're still in the hunt in this Open Championship race. And a tremendous start, a superb third-minute goal by England midfield man Trevor Stephen. Stephen playing as a striker against Middlesbrough with Graham Sharp injured. But Middlesbrough were quickly level when Stuart Ripley was brought down by Pat van den Howe. The penalty rifled past Neville Southall by Dean Glover. Everton, though, came up with a winner before half-time, a clever move too. Ian Snowden crossing from the right into the near post area, Tony Cotty pouncing his 12th of the season. Newcastle haven't had many chances, they're tussling for it on the edge of that uh, Middlesbrough penalty area again. Now the long ball from Fleming and this might well catch them out. Where was the Newcastle defence? And Paul Wilkinson must surely get the first of the game. Borough 1, Newcastle 0 and predictably it's Paul Wilkinson. Free kick then to Everton. The ball in, oh, the head of right out. Got the final touch, 1-0, two minutes into the second half. A bit of a shirt pulling there, but uh, there comes Henry. Good ball through, and this is Hignett. And Hignett scores his first for Middlesbrough. Well earned, that. It's taken by the through ball there. But just pretty much knocking Beers. Well, Beers went the uh, right way. Reach it. It's 2-1 to Everton. Watson getting the touch there. Wilkinson through. That's a great ball. Hignett's there again. Oh, an almost identical shot from him. It's 2-2. Sing day, Borough found themselves in a real heavyweight battle with Sheffield United. In front of a full house at Bramall Lane, the first blow was a self-inflicted one. A clear hand ball by Blades number six, Paul Beasley, left referee Rushton with no choice. A second bookable offence meant an automatic red card. Despite their handicap, the home side still managed to take the lead. The match now into the second half. Burrow were caught out when a free kick ended with Glyn Hodges heading the opening goal. Happily for Burrow, it was a lead that lasted just five minutes. Sloppy defending resulted in Craig Hignett getting the chance to equalise. A goal that made the final score 1-1. Robson and his team. But Robbo's men were given a Boxing Day thrashing at Goodison, and the after effects continued well into the new year. And face the wrath of the Premier League. They'll have to wait to learn their punishment. Meanwhile, Borough have now gone over three months without a Premiership win. Their last success was at Goodison Park in mid September. Everton are again the opponents when Robbo's men finally end that sequence on Boxing Day. Hignett in space and Hignett has scored. Craig Hignett with 22 minutes played, beautifully found by Emerson. Slid into his path and passed into the net by Craig Hignett. Speed cross, hung up towards Ferguson. There was a hand there, it was Derry White, I think, a penalty's been given. Well, he was in a crowd with Ferguson and Branch, but only he will know why. Answorth has scored for Everton, and it's 1-1. Ravinelli. Blackmore, going for the curve, he's got it! Oh, welcome back! Barbie. Ferguson, had to do... Well, there's a certain inevitability when Duncan Ferguson is given that amount of space to pick his place with a header. Everson has Juninho to his right, running free. And now running at Unsworth. Juninho, blocked by Barrett, Ravinelli's there, Juninho's there! It's 3-2 to Middlesbrough! Juninho caps his return to the side. With a goal which gives Borough the edge again. It's the third time in the match they've been in front. Juninho's initial effort blocked by Barrett. Allen couldn't get it clear, and Juninho buried it. Back out to 
Jose Nino. Everton backing off him, giving him every respect. Ravanelli, it's Juninho, it's four! And that should be the long-awaited Borough victory. Juninho and Ravanelli combine to get a fourth with just over 15 minutes left to play. Ravanelli may be offside, Juninho off balance, somehow screws it in. On Boxing Day, Borough left it late to claim the win that kept them in top spot. Merson's 76-minute corner headed into his own goal by Huddersfield's Kevin Gray. Old Trafford, a magnificent high. But it was followed by a frustrating low spell that started when Jamie Carragher gave Liverpool the lead at the Riverside. Brian Dean gave Borough brief hope when he landed the equaliser. The reprieve was only temporary but it was a neat header by the big striker. Borough fell behind again before half-time, when Liverpool won an indirect free kick inside the penalty box, Jamie Redknapp restoring the Merseysiders lead. A disappointing first home defeat of the Premiership season was wrapped up when Hegan made the final score 3-1 to Liverpool. A mazy run by the full-back and a clinical finish. Start of a nightmare run. Headed away only as far as Alexanderson. And to tease Curtis Fleming, and it's there! It's the captain, Peter Atherton. Once more grows, but uh, once more, he's immediately thwarted. Well, that's a nice ball. Here's Whelan. Inside the penalty area, Callum Burr. Tries to tee it up, couldn't. It's Fleming left footed. Oh, it's a save, and Callum Burr will put it in. <laughs> Christian Callum Burr's. Well, Whelan's cross found Callum Burr initially. He just wanted to tee it up, couldn't get the shot in. Instead, it was Fleming who hit it superbly well. Vestavelt couldn't hold. Callum Burr makes sure. I think everyone's uh, very, very pleased. Uh, the spirit in the camp is, is, is a good one. They're fighting uh, right to the last minute and uh, they've worked their socks off today to get a result. I mean, he's the best. You know, when the England job came out, you know, I was one of the first people, you know, to jump out at me seat and say, you know, this is the man, you know, just get us, get us back on track. Obviously, the FA didn't, you know, go with that, but, um, you know, I, I was more than happy at the fact that he decided to come to Middlesbrough. Well. That was a bit touch and go whether he's going to come or not, but um, I'm glad that he's here and, um, you know, we're all glad that he's here because it's where things are working out for us. You now Bjorn trying to give some support there to Boxic. Kedruma's careless. Great save by Crossley, but he's forced it home, Sheeran! Solano's corner. Oh, a terrific header on the run. Gary Speed, the crucial second for Newcastle. The electric pace again, Shearer comes near post, it goes to the far post to Bernard. Brilliant play from Newcastle. Defeat on town side. Good header, an important header that one from Frank Kedrou. And well, he's got away now as well. He combined brilliantly with Greeny and Kedrou found some space. Boxic has gone through the middle. Kedrou's beaten another man. It's still Frank Kedrou. This has got to be Boxic now! And that's the goal! Oh, and Alan Boxic has opened the scoring. Well, he had one chance a few moments ago. No, delight, delightfully, he's getting off at half time now. Because if half time whistle just about to blow it the next minute or so, he'll be getting off at half time, the hero now. But the hero for me was. Frank Quadru in the build up to this goal. It was headed away by Wes Brown. Jeremy puts the ball back in though now. And maybe a chance for Nemeth. Nemeth just got ahead of his man and that's two! Unbelievable Zellard Nemeth has scored a second right at the start of the second half. Oh, oh yeah, he leaves a Schaefer dead there. You've got to say bad defender, but full marks to Nemeth. He doesn't have whack this one and gives Barthez absolutely no chance. What a comes forward, skulls to take on Greening perhaps. Ball's come out now to Solskjaer, Solskjaer delivers the cross in, and Ryan Giggs has got one back for Manchester United. 
Joseph Job won the head of the flag stayed down actually and Jeremy it is that's on the end of this one Job and Macaroni's continued Massimo Macaroni with the header maybe Joseph Job for three and surely now Middlesbrough have scored three and will get the three points it's Joseph Job with the goal and Hamilton again now delivers the second corner and the ball is in the back of the net Bradburn Rovers are ahead within a couple of minutes by York strike partner Andy Cole on the bench along with uh, Matt Janssen. A big name strikers on the bench for Blackburn Rovers as Ricketts has just got ahead this time of Andy Todd. Michael Ricketts ball in the middle. This is Janino. This is the equaliser. Half an hour played and Janino has levelled it up for middle. see now at the other end with Janino. Mendieta is the player forward. Janino opting to go alone. Had a shot. Oh, what a goal. Janino has put middle for a 2 1 ahead. It's his second goal of the match. It's a ball falls to a red shirt. It could be curtains for Blackburn. Friedel comes in and they've equalised. Well, Blackburn Rovers have equalised at the death. Well, they put so much pressure on the Middlesbrough goal and it's in. The ball goes in the middle square. Morrison at the angle, hits it in the back of the net. And Birmingham City have the lead. It was a long, hopeful ball played forward. And Clinton Morrison came to the right-hand side of the penalty area. And with his right foot, fires it under the arm of Mark Schwarzer. And it's Birmingham City won. It's the Borough nil after 10 minutes. Robbie Savage, right footy ball, came the box out. Head out into the back of the net from Emil Heskey. It's a good, strong run there by... Ryan Nelson, Emerton, right foot across, a decent one. Sheffield Cook has scored for Blackburn Rovers. He just got ahead of the defender there. And the man who caused problems for Borough midweek in the cup is doing it again in the Premiership. And it's Borough nil, it's Blackburn one. Sheffield Cook with the goal in the 38th minute. Cross towards the far side. Bellamy brings it down inside the penalty. Air. Shot. Mark Swatch makes a great save. It's a tap in. And it's 2 0 for Blackburn Rovers. And Shefty Cookie scored again. To St Andrews. 